Hi, welcome back. My name is Emma Hessler and today we're going to do a twist pop-up panel card. And this is a fun interactive card that you easily can create yourself. And to start off, I'm going to use a fun uh, stencil from Trinity Stamps. This is a part of the new spring release. And uh, I will list everything down below so you can see uh, if you want to check them out. And I'm starting off with a light grey color and I'm just going to ink this out with my blending brushes. They are also from Trinity Stamps and I just love how easy they are to use uh, with stencils. And you can see I will get some uh, ink where I don't want it but I will clean this off later on. Uh, Trinity Stamps stencils has a laced, laced uh, um, impression so you can see easily where the next layer should be. I'm going in with another teal color here. It's just a quite light one and then for our third and final um, color here I will go in with an even darker color and these colors the first one is from Long Fawn and the other two are from Alt New. Uh, you probably can find something similar from other brands as well. And I just love how easy these brushes are to get into all of those nooks and in this uh, stencil. And you can see how easy it just uh, blends together. It's effortless and I don't even take the time to blend it. So here is our first uh, moon or space planet that we created. I will just turn my panel around again and do the exact same thing. And I just wanted two of these because they will go in the inside of our panel. You could see in the picture in the beginning that I will actually cut these down to be smaller and fit on top of our uh, moving mechanism inside our card. So you can see I'm doing the same thing. I just think it's good that you can see this many times because it's really easy to line up and it was super fun to create. Uh, you can do whatever color you want to use. These are just some of my favorite colors that I'm using. Gray and teal together I think are absolutely beautiful. And I'm sorry that my head is maybe a little bit in the way here. And uh, that is just because I want to make sure that I'm lining everything up perfectly. I will go ahead and cut this out with my scissors later on and I will do it off camera so you don't have to spend time watching me do that. Uh, but it was a really fast uh, process to do. So now we're going to start with our card here and you can see I cut down some cardstock and all the measurements will be in the description also on the frame here so you can see all this. But this is just a standard A2 top folded note card that we are creating. So it's uh, 5 by 4 and a quarter, 5 and a half sorry by 4 and a quarter of course. And then we're going to do our pop-up mechanism, or sorry pop-up panel. This is 10 by uh, uh, 3 and 1 quarter. And this one we actually are going to score as well at uh, 2 and a half, 5 and 7 and a half. And all the measurements you can see here on screen. And then we're going to fold it like this, you would see uh, in a second here when we're going to use it. So this uh, is the pop-up mechanism panel and that we're going to score down the middle of everything. And we score that at one and uh, three quarters. And then we're going to take a marker. This is just a pencil that you can erase uh, later on. And we're going to mark at two and a half and five and uh, three quarters. And then we're going to do some lines between all of these to make sure that these are lining up perfectly. I'm just taking my ruler here and bending the paper. I figured that was easier than having to score them and finding the right position for everything. So now we, then we have the crease, you can go ahead and um, fold this more tightly. And then you can see how easy this will actually come together. So this is our pop-up mechanism and you can go ahead and uh, crease this a little bit tighter. So it will work perfectly later on. So here is all the things you need to create this fun pop-up card. So here are our A2 panel that we created uh, earlier. We're going to just mark down the middle of this. Uh, you just need a little dot there to make sure that you know where the center is. And the center is actually going to be pointing 
the mechanism are actually going to be pointing and I will just uh, uh, put some color down here so you know exactly where to put the adhesive so where I have colored in that is where the score tape should be I'm using score tape for this you could use any strong uh, adhesive that you have in your stash I just figured that this was the easiest way for me to create this so now I'm just gonna peel off the release paper and then we're gonna line this up with the dot that we previously uh, put there so after we have pressed that down we're gonna take off the release paper from the other side you can see here I'm just trying the mechanism out so we know that it is working the way it should and then we're just gonna lay this over and press it down and there is the mechanism that is so easy to create so here is our pop-up panel that we previously created you can see how I will have this you can see that I bent the outer parts uh, towards the middle and I'm putting adhesive only to the flaps and uh, you can see here you can actually press pause on this video and you can look a little bit more closely if you can't see exactly but I'm just putting it on one of the sides here and down to the crease that we created in the middle and I'm, not, I'm making sure that I'm not going over that one and then I'm gonna use my mat here, my scoring mat in the background and I'm just gonna actually I'm gonna crease this a little bit more and then I will actually line this up and you can see it looks like a W or yeah and I'm just gonna or an M and I'm just creasing that and I'm lining it up with my mat here and then I'm just flipping these over and out and then the mechanism is done you have to play with this a little bit just to make sure that the score lines and everything that it floats smoothly but that is how easy this card is to create and it has a big impact when the recipient opened this so I went ahead and cut out uh, some black pieces here you can see the measurements on the screen and then we're gonna take these ones and the uh, um, coloring that we did in the beginning here and we're gonna use this on top of them and it's gonna look so adorable before I'm going ahead and do that I will actually spat splatter all the black pieces that I am creating I'm creating one from the for the front side and I'm also gonna create one for uh, the upper and the lower part of the inside of this card and I'm just gonna take some white acrylic paint uh, it's very important when you're using a paint like this that you clean your brushes and uh, your acrylic block off immediately otherwise it could actually stain them forever so make sure that you are careful with that but it makes the most perfect white splatters I think so when we're done with this and um, we're gonna let this dry and I just cut out another panel I will show this one more time and uh, the idea is that this will look like stars so for my sentiment for my card panel I wasn't sure what to do so I had come this far and then I actually took a break and I think my break uh, uh, ended up being I think two weeks because I didn't know what to do other than the inside I was so pleased with how all of this had turned out and how easy it was and I was sure that you were going to like this one but for the sentiment um, COVID-19 came along and um, everything the uh, your usual activities and everything was cancelled and I was at home a lot and I was thinking what should I do for the sentiment of this card I want to like embrace the time we are in at the moment so I was figuring okay I cannot say stay safe because this is a card about space okay so I was figuring out and I was thinking and I was talking to my family and making up pounds in Swedish is a hard thing for me and making them up in English is like impossible so I was like considering what to do and then one day I was like okay I can say stay space because we have to keep our distance to each other and I went ahead and I did my card and then if you didn't know, Trinity Stamps uh, design team are the most incredible group of people I have ever, I think, known. They are so kind and generous and helpful in every way. So a big shout out to them. And I also wanted to say that I, when I wrote in our group, 
uh, that I wanted some help with coming up with better suggestions than stay space and if, if they even understand what I meant with this uh, they were so kind that they say, said that they understand what I meant and they come with some suggestions so this is some if you want to do a copy of this card you can actually use some of my suggestions or they are not mine I, I copied them from the design team <laughs> because I thought they were so good so I need space you can go with that I think that is fantastic my favorite I think is make space that is genius and give me some space create space keep your space and so on they were really fantastic on making up words with space uh, but make space I would if I had done this card one more time I probably wouldn't have said stay space even though I think it's okay I would have said make space because that had also fit really nicely on top of our um, panel here and I'm gonna use the marshmallow alphabet die set from Trinity stamps that is also a newer one and super pretty and off camera I cut out some cute creditors uh, from the outer space and uh, if you haven't checked out, uh, Trinity Stamps has like a monthly challenge that you can check out and I can leave links down below for that one too. I know the theme for this month is just creditors, so I think this card fits in that category really cute. So here are the sentiments that we talked about a little bit earlier. Stay space I went with and I think make space had been so much cooler but that's just me please leave me a comment down below if you have any other suggestions what my sentiment for this card could have been other than the ones I suggested and if there was some of them that you really liked and if you actually liked mine that would be really fun to hear as well so that would be fun if you wanted to leave some comments down below for that so now I'm just adhering my sentiment down here with some liquid glue. I made it easy on myself. I thought I was going to pop every letter up here with some foam dots, but I decided against it when I actually realized how much work that would be and that this really looked nice the way it was. I like how this white sentiment pops against this black uh, background. And I will embellish this a little bit more later on with some um, uh, confetti stars and I think that really finish this uh, scene off nicely. So I think we're gonna work on the inside some more now with our little creditors. Or sorry, here is uh, me embellishing this a little bit more with all of these teeny tiny star sequins. They are also from Trinity Stamps and I use them in nearly every card that I make a galaxy background with because I think they are so beautiful. They are a little bit fibbly. Can you say that in English? They are a little bit hard to work with because they are so teeny tiny and I just have my big fingers to work with because I don't have a yule picker. Yeah, it's true. I don't. I need to make an investment in that one, but I haven't taken the punch yet. So I'm just using my big fingers and that's that. So here are our inside. So for the inside, I wanted to also continue the sentiment. And in the stamp set called Otter Space that we are using for these inside pieces, there are a lot of uh, great sentiment that you can use. And I will just have the one that says, Hope your birthday is author this world. Yes, author this world. And it's just amazing because Trinity Stamps, I have, I know I've said this in previous videos, but I just love Trinity Stamps. Uh, coordinating dies because they do more than just cut out the images they always give you more to work with for example they cut out every letter in this stamp set and I think that is amazing imagine how many uh, sentiments you can create and how the opportunity is, is with this it's amazing um, just saying <laughs> And I'm gluing my creditors down and I'm sorry if you wanted to see the coloring part but it was really easy and I just did that off camera. Some grey Copic markers, some teal Copic markers. You can basically use whatever medium you wanted because I didn't use a lot of colors here at all. So that was the finished project. I hope you liked this project. If you did, please consider giving me a thumb up and maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And if you had any suggestions about uh, the sentiment for this card, please leave a comment down below. I am so looking forward to hear what you have to say about that one. So until next time, have a great day and stay space. Bye!